which is called a contour thread lift. It's a, a brand new procedure which has come from the US, that's where it was uh, originated. And the man uh, who's doing it here is uh, a surgeon who's called Mukesh Lalu, and uh, he is going to show us exactly what's involved here. Hi. You're very welcome uh, to The Late Late Show. Now, you. you've already done a little bit of work this afternoon, but before we have a look at Valerie, thank Absolutely. you, Valerie, for agreeing to uh, participate in this, we're going to have a look at Valerie this afternoon before anything at all uh, was done. So let's have a look at this. Now, this is uh, the beginning of the procedure. Explain what exactly is going on here. Okay, well... W w what do you actually do? What I do, Pat, is I make a small incision, um, either in the temporal tuft, just at the hairline here, or behind the hair at the back. Um, I pass a needle under local anaesthetic, so there's no general anaesthetic involved with this. It's an office procedure, so it can be done in the surgery. Um, pass the needle through, comes out the other side um, of the face. Um, with that, the threads come too, and um, I snip the needle off and pull the thread. All right. Let's have a look at this afternoon when you actually put the needles through uh, Valerie's face. Okay. Now the needle goes through, and then the the, the filament is pulled through afterwards, is that Absolutely. Right? So the needle's pushed through, comes out the other side. It, it looks painful. It's not painful at all. Valerie, um, did you have any pain? No, just a wee bit of pressure, but no pain. No pain. Now, we can see the filament being pulled out. How yes. many filaments do you need for a, a full facelift? For a full face part, typically about eight. Eight will do. Eight. Four, Four on each, on each side. side. Approximately. We'll do it. Yes. Now, the idea is then that you, you pull these filaments through. What happens then? Well, once we've done it, <coughs> excuse me, once we've pulled the filaments through, I will then go about the process of contouring the face. And I will ask the patient how high they would like to go. So in Valerie's case, um, we lifted the right side of her brow um, approximately a centimeter, um, pulled her jowls back to give her a nice tight chin line. And she was happy with that. We could go further, but um, we didn't. So, so looking at, at Valerie's face now, you have removed the threads, the filaments, uh -huh. from one side, if we That's can have a, 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 a look straight on the face, right? And you can see the other filaments are still in place. Yes, yes. There is a little bit of a lift from this side, but basically this side has been lifted up, and this brow here is lower than the brow on the right. So when I contour the threads for you, you'll see that the, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, filaments will pull the, the skin back okay, into Do you want place. to do the procedure now? Sure, yeah. yeah. And if you could be so kind. Just, just, How long does this take, by the way? Just um, a It takes minutes? me to do this procedure um, probably for a full face an hour to an hour and a half um, in total. Um, this is a relatively new procedure, as you've, you've, you've mentioned. It's been in the States for a few years, and um, in Ireland we're sort of catching on to it now. Um, I, myself, specialize in non-surgical in non or cosmetic medical treatments. So you're pulling so these threads now, now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the threads, and you'll see that the thread will come out a little bit further. And if I let go of it at this stage, you, if you let go there, Alan, you'll see that Valerie's brow is really quite raised up on that side. Right, because each thread has little bumps along it, it and as a, you pull them out, they can't go back in. Absolutely. Each, cog, each, each thread has um, a few hundred little cogs on it, and each cog gra grasps the skin and holds it in place. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to contour this one back a little bit further. Um, Valerie and I have decided already how much of a lift she wants. So I'm just going to, that's lifted up now, and I'm going to just put it into position. And there, nice and even. And you can see the lift is there. We pull the thread and snip. There's a little bit of blood involved, not much. A how much blood bit. would there be from the, the needle going in and all of that? In About total? an egg cup full in total. Um, you know, that's, that's about it. No, no, if you just put that there on for a sec, yeah. Um, no worse than um, 
if you were having a small minor surgery to have a now procedure you've got two done. more. So okay. we've just got these ones. Now you can see that's a pretty instant pull on the face. That just lifts the jaw right back. Um, and so in my practice, I would normally um, treat, do an awful lot of other cosmetic procedures, a lot of Botox, a lot of fillers. And as Maura was saying, it's an ever-growing industry. It's an evolution of society, really. Um, and there are people who have it done for various reasons, um, aesthetic. And then there are other people who have other treatments because they've had, say, cancer in their life and they want to have their face filled out. Or um, small things like, to you and I, such as acne, which can destroy somebody else's life, but um, okay. can be treated. And, and that's it. And You've this got is, two more. And we've just got two on the neck. This, is, this was um, Valerie's main concern, was her neck. So um, it's got a bit of a thread there. So this basically will keep Valerie going for the next three, between three and five years. Um, that's fine. And can you do it again then? Uh, absolutely, uh, you can. I'm not. I'm not touching um, any of the muscles underneath, or any. I'm going not going near any of the nerves, or hopefully none of the big blood vessels. And um, one. What do you mean, uh, hopefully? <laughs> <laughs> well, this should be done by somebody who's uh, trained in, in, you know, in the procedure, obviously, Pat. Um, because it's done by a surgeon. This is absolutely, yeah. Um, but it's, it's a, you know, it, as, as far as surgery goes, that's fine now. It's a straightforward enough procedure. Um, and so there we have the face contour now. And that's now, high. there is a little bruising. How long will it take for that bruising to go? About a week. No, no worse than if Valerie bumped her head. All right. Now, Valerie, have a look at yourself there in that camera. <laughs> go on, have a look. Now, if you can try and overlook the slight bruising that you've got yeah. and some of the blood, what do you think? Oh, I'm delighted, but I just feel like Mike Tyson at the moment, but it'll be all right. <laughs> Yeah, and, and why did you want to do this? Um, I suppose we're all, we look in the mirror, you think you're young to you look in the mirror and everything's sort of going south, you know, so you feel like you want to... So you feel like you want to give yourself a little lift, che cheering yeah, up, yeah. a lift in every yeah. sense but of... I didn't want to look like Joan Rivers or anything like that, you know. All right, OK. Well, Valerie, thank you. And uh, Mukesh, Lalu, thank you very you're much. Welcome. You're welcome. It's, uh, the clinic is called uh, Cosmetics, isn't that That's right? correct. Cosmetics, yeah. all right. Cosmetics. Lalu, thank, you, thank, thank you very much. And Valerie, particularly, thank you. Um, How much does it cost, by the way? Um, treatment started about two thousand euro. About two thousand euros. At a half face or a full face, or a... You, I'll do half your face if you want. <laughs> <laughs> about two thousand for the jawline. Two thousand for the jawline, jaw and yeah. moving on up Mo there, depending on, on how much yeah. you want done. And... All right, um, it's time now to meet once again the the woman who so bravely underwent the kind of a facelift called a thread lift in this studio four weeks ago. I just remind you of the before and after on the night. Uh, let's have a look at those pictures now. All right, that's the before before anything was done, and then we had the procedure and the threads passed through the flesh, and then pulled tight, which is why it's called a thread lift. Now, there was a little blood and bruising, but we were assured that it would settle down in a week or two. So four weeks on, Valerie is here uh, to show the final result to the nation. So once again, will you welcome Mrs. Valerie Files. Valerie. How are you, sweetheart? Hi. Mm. No, there you go. So, Valerie, are you pleased? I'm delighted. You're delighted. Absolutely delighted, yeah. You came here under a circumstance where your, your husband, Ken, was away. Yeah. Your son, Jonathan, was away. Yeah. They didn't know what you were at. No. <laughs> no, right. my husband was away with my son-in-law um, in Anglesey in Wales, uh, motor racing. And Jonathan was in Donington, uh, also motor racing. So Ken hasn't even seen this until he has seen it tonight. And uh, Jonathan saw it on the Monday night. The needles going in. Yeah, and uh, Jonathan said to me, fair play to you, Mum. Um, did you have any discomfort after the fact? We saw a little bit of blood and bruising on the night. Was there any discomfort over the next few days? Um, no, once the bandages came off and um, it was like a wee bit achy, but it wasn't sore. I had no real pain. And once I went back and got the bandages off, I was out walking the next day and out to the shops with a scarf on my neck. And, it was fine. Yeah. And what about your friends that you bumped into? What were they saying to you? <laughs> um, well, I met a man uh, in the supermarket. You know when you do the trolleys thing? Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, he said to me, um, you're the one that's on the Late Late Show. And I said, yes. And he says, uh, tell me, did it hurt the needles going through your face? And I said, no. Now, I expected women to come up to me, but men did, you know. And then um, a couple of weeks ago, we were down at our church having a work party. And uh, I said, I wasn't doing any more gardening. I said, I'll just make the tea because I didn't want my threads to burst. <laughs> Are you conscious, by the way, of the threads there? Because if, if I remember the thread, it's like a filament with little balls of uh, nylon or whatever the, yeah. the material is yeah. all along it, and they actually hold everything in place. Hold, isn't yeah. it? No, it wasn't. Um, the first week was a bit hard because you had to sit with them, um, you know, those travel pillows? Yeah. And sit sleep, sleep, sleeping up, and that was a bit hard, you know, because I couldn't. Um, lie in my tummy, which I like doing, you know. Yeah, but you but couldn't do that. But now, are you conscious that you have filaments running through your face? No, no. Not at all? No. And the next day, yeah, I was even picking up my grandson and carrying him around the house, so, like, it wasn't... No bother. You're not, not afraid that some night there'll be a bing and the whole thing will snap. And no, I'll be, I'll be back to Dr. Lalu if there is. Yes, certainly will. <laughs> well, now, you just sneaked in beside you is Ken and uh, your son, Jonathan. Hi, Ken. You were off about motoring racing business because you are uh, an avid motor enthusiast, I know. Uh, you knew nothing of this. Well, uh, she asked me actually on the phone. Uh, she said, I'm, I'm going to go on the late late and I'm going to get a facelift. And I said, well, it's your face. If you want to get it ironed, you can do what you like with <laughs> if it. If you want to get it ironed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, that's, that's, I, that's. I knew that if I said no, she would have done it anyway. <laughs> so right. there was you, no You know your place then, Ken, I do certainly you? do. <laughs> yeah. So you came back and, and what did you think of the result? Well, first of all, when we drove in the gate, um, she was standing in the shadows with a, a scarf around her neck and uh, said, mm, what do you think? <laughs> and I said, said, yeah, okay. And I could see a bit of bruising either side of her, her neck there. And I said, um, is, are we the Adams family? Have they taken the bolt out? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, certainly there was a big change. I saw a huge difference. Yeah. But at that time, everything was just pulled and, you know... But you're a very it, calm guy, aren't you? Well, you, well, you said to, that you married her for better or worse, and? Well, I signed up for the full <laughs> better or worse, and um, this is better. <laughs> <laughs> so do you actually think it takes years off, Valerie? Because you know her best. It does. Um, the last four weeks has taken a lot of, a lot of years off her, and me. Uh, no, <laughs> it's... Um, it certainly made an improvement, a yeah. big improvement. You, you never doubted that she would, uh, you know, have the nerve and the, and the courage to go through with this. Uh, she did it in such an easy way. I, I sort of treated it more like a little bit flippantly, I'm afraid. And uh, she just went on about it and did it, and it sort of happened. That's the kind of person she is. What about you, Jonathan? <laughs> um, you became aware of it uh, sooner than Ken, did you? That, that I did, yeah. Well, like, um, I got a phone call on the Thursday before I flew out to go to England that Mum was going to have a, what I was told, a facelift. And I thought, Mum? So I rang her and she says, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go and have it done. And, and I thought, like, Mum, Mum wouldn't have been the sort of person that I'd have thought would have gone for something like that. And she, like, she wasn't an old-looking woman. It was something that she, she look, I'd seen her looking up on the internet and stuff like this, and she did it. And, and, when and I, did she tell you why she was doing it? No, she didn't. But Bonte, did you tell him why you decided to do this? You had a reason. I had a reason, yeah. Well, I looked in the mirror, and what was in my mind and was looking back at me wasn't the same thing, you know. Well, that happens to all of us. I'm I know, afraid, yeah, but we, yeah, when everything is going downwards, we want something to come back up again, don't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it was him. It was his fault. He's getting married, isn't he? I know he is, yeah, but... You wanted to look really... I didn't know then he was getting married, you see. All right, OK. Uh, yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you told me not to say it. <laughs> so, so that's why um, you actually decided to Well, it's a great excuse, do. and I'm so thrilled for him that he is getting married. Yeah. You're a bit squeamish. You've done many things in your life that put your own life in danger and all the rest, but... Having oh. needles stuck through your face? When I, I didn't see it until the Monday evening. I came home late from work and I switched on. I, I was in the motor factories actually that day and uh, I heard people talking about it. And then I realised what they were talking about. The mammy. And I was my mom, yeah, and they were like, brave woman. And I was thinking, oh, I have to ring her, make sure she's okay. So <laughs> I went outside and rang her and uh, I saw it on television that night. And I saw probably 30 seconds of it and I just, it brought a tear to my eye. Even though I knew she was okay. Just go, to see your, your mother being punctured like yeah, this. Yeah, I was. I was nearly going to go and knock on the doctor's door and say, what did you do to my mom? Because she's all scrunched up like this. 
<laughs> anyway, you're happy with the result now. Ah, no, she looks great. Yeah. And like, it's, I, I always kept told her to keep her hair short because it made her look younger. But now, like, she looks great. And it's not, it hasn't taken 20 years off her. It just makes her look really healthy. And she kind looks, of a fresher version of herself. She's confident. She's full of confidence. Yeah. What do you think, Valerie Seth? No oh, yeah. regrets. I, no, no regrets whatsoever. And it does make you feel you want to put on nice clothes now, and even if you're only a pair of jeans, but put a bit of makeup on and go out and... I think it's given right. me a lift anyway. All and, right. Well, and I'm look. delighted for, for just to thank everybody who helped me and Dr. Lou and everybody. So it was great. Right. Well, look, Valerie and Ken and Jonathan, thank you very much for thank being with us tonight. Good result. Good result.